Haste. Hey students, how are you all? Once again, welcome back to another interesting session of your online English classes. In today's video, we are going to continue with our discussion of the chapter Wonderful Waste. On this particular chapter, one video has already been uploaded. If you haven't still checked it, then do it. Otherwise, you may have difficulty in understanding today's video. And today's video is also the second part in the complete series of the chapter Wonderful Waste. Before starting our today's discussion, it is very important to first have a look at all the important things that we had discussed in the previous video. So, in the previous video, we had started our discussion with the point Travancore is also known as Thiruvatamkur. The Maharaja of Travancore once ordered a grand feast in his palace. Next, we saw that to check the arrangements, the Maharaja entered the kitchen and found some unused vegetable scraps. When the Maharaja learned from the cook that the scraps would be thrown away, he was not pleased. Instead, what did he do? He ordered the cook to find a way to reuse the waste vegetable scraps. Now, in today's video, we are going to find out what exactly does the cook do with the vegetable scraps. After being commanded by the Maharaja, the cook was in a fix and kept staring at the vegetable scraps for some time. Now students, here is a phrase in a fix. Now this is something which you may not have heard before. So before we uh, move on to the explanation of this particular sentence, let us quickly have a look at what this particular phrase means. The words in a fix are used together in a phrase which means a situation hard to escape from. So whenever we are in trouble or whenever we are facing some kind of a problem, we may say that we are in a fix. Now these phrases, these particular phrases are called idioms. Now if you don't know what idioms are, let us have a look at the meaning of the word idioms. Idioms are basically expressions that don't exactly mean what the words say. So whatever you see written in a phrase, you may not find the meaning similar to that. So the meaning and what you can see in front of you written in the page can be totally different. So for example, you can find out she spilled the beans. Now, what exactly is spilling? Spilling means when you are dropping something in such a way that it became, it becomes messy or it becomes dirty. Yes, that is what spilling means. And beans is something that you already know. Yes, now she spilled the beans. This is not the literal meaning when somebody is saying this. It instead means she talked too much and told the secret. So, every time you come across this phrase, she spilled the beans, don't think that here uh, any kind of beans is being talked about or someone has really spilled beans. No, it means that the person we are talking about has talked so much that he or she has disclosed some secrets. So, similarly, in a fix is also an idiom where it means there is a difficult situation which the person is finding very difficult to come out from. And in this chapter, the cook was in a similar situation. The cook was in a fix and kept staring at the vegetable scraps for some time. Now, why do you think the cook was staring at the vegetable scraps? Actually, he was trying to think about a way in which he can reuse the vegetable scraps. He was thinking hard. He was trying to think deeply about which way he can choose to reuse the scraps. Suddenly, an idea flashed across his mind. All right. 
now whatever is written in this sentence we can easily understand from here that uh, the cook got an idea he suddenly got an idea but flashing across the mind is also something that you should know it is once again an idiom let us see what flashing across the mind means flash across the mind is a phrase which means suddenly think of so when you have been planning for a thing for a few days or for quite some time you're not uh, you know suddenly thinking of it that idea is not flashing across your mind what is a flash a flash happens in an instant right so whenever you get an idea like it's there in your mind in just within some seconds that is a flash that is like a flash and that is why it is called flash across the mind or flashing across the mind all right now the cook has some idea of reusing the vegetable scraps what is that plan what is that idea let us find out he took all the vegetable bits washed them and cleaned them well all right so this is a very first step in cooking uh, or in reusing the vegetable scraps so students here you have to understand that the vegetable scraps had to be cleaned first because they had been thrown away or, or not thrown away they were kept to be thrown away yes but the maharaja ordered to not to not throw them away or to re you reuse them that is why the cook was reusing them and for that he first needed to wash the already dirty vegetable scraps okay now after this he cut them into long strips now the chopping part is also very important the vegetable has been chopped but what about the peel that if you are going to use that you also need to make sure that that peel or that part of the vegetable should also be in uniformity it should all the pieces should be similar all the strips should be similar to each other all right so the vegetable scraps were also cut into thin strips next he put them in a huge pot and placed it on the fire to cook all right now this is a step that we are very well familiar with right next he ground some fresh coconut green chilies and garlic together now students the word ground is written here but the word ground that you are familiar with doesn't seem to fit in this sentence right let us see if there are any other meanings of ground available or not no. now you can see two pictures in front of you the very first picture is the picture of the ground that you are very well familiar with or the playground's ground the second picture is that of the ground that is there that is applicable in this particular chapter so the very first picture the very first ground is a noun but the second ground is a verb and this ground is the past tense of the word grind so grinding is basically the verb which is written in the present tense but when you are talking about grind in the past tense you have to use the word ground and the picture that you can see is used for grinding spices yes now this is a something that you must have seen at home nowadays most of the people use mixers and grinders to grind their spices and other things but earlier people used the mortar and the pestle so the things that you can see uh, in the second picture those are called the mortar and the pestle with which people used to grind spices when there was no mixer or grinder all right now what did he do he ground some fresh coconut green chilies and garlic together so what uh, what has the cook done he has taken the fresh coconut he has also taken green chilies and garlic he has put them together in the mortar and with the help of a pestle he is grinding everything together now you must keep this in mind that since we are talking about a maharaja or earlier times there was no mixer there was no grinder so whatever the people did they did with their own hands he added this paste and some salt to the cooking vegetables okay paste what exactly is a paste we know that there is a copy paste option paste we have learnt in computer yes but what exactly does this paste mean 
These are the two pastes that we are familiar with. The very first one is the simple pasting of something. When you are pasting a sticker on a copy or on a book or similar things. When you are trying an adhesive uh, thing which has an adhesive at the back you are trying to stick it somewhere. That means you are pasting it and on the next picture you can find out it is a paste. Now students you have to keep in mind that the cook had ground the garlic, chilies and the coconut together. So what happens when we grind things? We get a paste. Yes? So this is the paste that he added to the vegetables that were already cooking. And along with the paste, what else did he add? He also added some salt in it. Now that the cook has done so much, he has not just cleaned, he has also cut. Next he has put everything on fire uh, in a pot. Afterwards, he has also ground things together and whatever paste came out of it, he also added that to the cooking vegetables. So, after doing all these things, what happened was a tempting smell started coming from the pot. Okay, so every time something is being cooked, whether it is a pleasant smell or not a very pleasant smell, we can always understand that there is something which is getting cooked, right? Now, here the word tempting is written. What exactly does the word tempting means? Let us find out. The word tempting simply means attractive. So in this case, when this whole dish was getting cooked, what was coming out of it? A tempting smell or an attractive smell was coming out of it. Now attractive, the word attractive is generally used when we are talking about our eyes. But when it comes to our nose, we use the word tempting okay to talk about something which is very fascinating or which is very you know uh, which has the potential of being very good so when biryani is being cooked we get an amazing smell right it seems that you know uh, forget about it getting cooked completely just give it already just place it on our plates yes we have this feeling so similarly when the avial was being cooked a very good smell was coming out of it now, avial is almost done. It's not finished yet. The dish is not finished yet. But what will happen afterwards, we'll find out in the next video. Alright students, now it's time for a quick recap of all the important points discussed in today's video. The very first point that we discussed was that after the Maharaja's order, the cook got a nice idea about the reusing of the vegetable scraps. So, he began by washing and cleaning the vegetable bits. Next, he cut the bits into strips and also added some good ingredients in the dish like coconut, green chilies and garlic. And finally, we also saw that idioms are expressions that don't exactly mean what the words say. And the part that we have discussed till now, we found two idioms. The first one was in a fix and the second one was flashing across the mind. Now let us have a look at some very easy questions based on today's discussion. The very first question is why was the cook in a fix? Question number two. What was the first step in making the new dish? Number three. When did the tempting smell come from the pot? And number four is, which ingredients did the cook grind? Students, these questions are very easy. Just pay attention to each of the words that are written in the question. Okay, so you not just have to keep your eyes opened, but your mind should also be opened when you are answering these because these are very simple questions. You may easily get confused, but please don't because if you have watched the video well and if you have also read the chapter, you wouldn't face any difficulty in answering these. Alright students, with this we come to the end of our today's discussion on the second part of Wonderful Waste. The remaining part of the chapter would be discussed in the upcoming videos. Until then, stay safe and goodbye.